My mic was muted. Hold up. Hold up. Whoa. Hi, everybody. My name's Sil. I, uh, I am very ecstatic. Uh, I wanted to start a series where I went through and did the dungeon runs with each class, and I did it over and over till I won. Um, but I had an old paladin deck that, uh, was, like, six bosses in, and I'm like, well, I'll clear this out of the way before I start the recording, and I, of course, win the deck with a random-ass paladin deck where all my creatures were invisible, so none of my taunts worked at all, and the whole point of my original draft was, like, to get my monster sort of tanky so that the enemy was forced to trade with them. See, when it's when the invisibility cloak item said it gave them permanent stealth, I thought it just meant whenever you play a monster, it has stealth. But no, they just permanently have stealth and can't be targeted ever, for any reason, by the enemy. So, I ended up winning thanks to Scaled Nightmares, or whatever that dragon is, whose attack keeps doubling each turn, but it was crazy. Um, but we got our first win. As you can see, our deck was uh, interesting. We basically had like a dragon paladin sort of thing going on that was like half silver hand recruit, half dragon. It was the scale nightmares that gave us the win though. Um, them plus the archmage staff, which gave us a lot of removal. And dude, potion of vitality. I would have lost pretty much all of my games if I didn't have an insane amount of healing with my two moms, my holy light, earthen ring, we also had two of the Chill Blades, and we also had Light Lord Ragnaros and True Silver. And, like, Ragnaros couldn't be killed because he was stealth. So I was just healing every turn repeatedly. It was it was awesome. Um, we've done one out of eight on the challenge, though. Uh, we whelp! It's just a baby dragon, but it's still a dragon. Um, so I guess we're going to be starting Warrior since Magni's at the top of the list. Let's try it. We are going to do the best we can. Uh, I may need to leave and end the recording pretty quickly. Uh, just because I am going out to... I am uh, babysitting a friend's kids tonight so they can go shippity shop at the Christmas stuff, you know? Oh my god, the dragon's adorable. Feeding time? Feeding time. I've still never managed to like make this a mimic. I don't know if it's just random chance and I've just never gotten it. Whoa, I didn't mean to click you Discord to get minimized. Aw, oh, he has a dragon egg. His hero power is baby breath. Deal <laughs> two damage. Aw oh, man, I'm kind of sad that it isn't like pepper breath. Like they didn't go like I know you can like mess with this candle enough and like loosen it so you can throw it and it blows up there you go you can hit the gem here and these little mushrooms the pop first boss pretty easy I'm not too afraid I mean, that's annoying for sure, but I'm not, like, afraid of it. Especially since we basically win next turn, guaranteed, thanks to Heroic Strike. Yeah, no, we just win. GG! Super easy win. Magni gonna go punch a dragon. Wow! Aww, I feel bad. I wanna, I just wanna, like, quit and start over so I get a less adorable first boss. What do we get? Man, I'd be an asshole if I didn't pick that after it saved my ass last run. Everybody hurts smash or charge. I, for, for each friendly pirate, and yet it doesn't give pirates in the pack. Uh, I think that everybody hurts is actually like really good, especially because it gives us a spacky. Uh, this guy is the guy who just throws random bombs. This is just... You'd think this boss would be exceptionally easy for us as he's going to trigger all of our enrages. I always think that guy is like 30 health because I keep confusing him with the dude who just blows up with death rattles. <laughs> that dude was an asshole. For Cosmoda! For Cosmoda! 
good old Magni Bronzebeard, man. For Gasmadan. I, uh, I'm a horde player. Don't know if you know this about me, uh, personally. I, uh, I've almost always played the horde. I prefer the horde in every way. Um, but once, as a surprise, a friend of mine, uh, faction changed my undead warrior to the alliance side of the server as a dwarf, because he knew that was my favorite alliance race. So, I started a guild on the alliance side of the server, and, uh... Yeah, we did some raids. It was fun. We were more of a PvP guild, actually. We were, like, almost exclusively, like, about the arena. Which was actually a lot of fun. Because I used to run duos with uh, Combat Rogue as a Dwarf Warrior. It was a Combat Rogue and a Fury Warrior. If you know WoW speak, you know how utterly ridiculous that sounds. Because Fury Warriors were just really bad in Arena because of how much extra damage they took. But I could basically one-shot any character in the game who wasn't a bear or in plate mail. Easy win, easy win. Two Hoarding Dragons or a Black Wing Corruptor. Nah. King Mosh, Primordial Drake, bro. I'm liking Everybody Hurts, man, but it's so expensive. I'm thinking we might take the Reinforcer, just for the buffs. Just to get some utility. Ah, that's good. We just picked up, like, three creatures instead of some spells. Which is good, because this next boss is all about spells, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, it's all about the spells. Elder Brandelmar. For Cosmodon. Your magic finds no purchase here. Oh, I ain't gonna cast magic at you. I'm gonna beat you with a stick. What does this do? I think it gives him a counter spell for two, right? Yeah, it basically gives him a counter spell every turn. Which is fine. I mean, I can always play Sleep with the Fishes just to burn his counter spell if there's another spell that I wanted to play. We'll just armor up. I don't want to drop this guy to one health in case this guy has something fancy. I do want to play this, though. I just feel like the Potion of Vitality just is so strong where you get to start with, like, 50 health compared to an opponent with 20 I just feel that that is, that is a damn strong advantage. Especially if you end up like I did with the Paladin deck, just drafting something that sucks. Let's, uh, let's play this. Let's trade here. Oh, it's the attack. Alright, yeah. Let's get that out of the way. I'm not that concerned about the Yeti, because he's going to run into my taunt. Well, now I'm thinking I might just kill it. Oh, right. Counterspell. I'm actually tilted with how stupid I was there. Like, I'm actually upset with how dumb I was there. <sighs> uh, come on, Sil, be better than this. On the bright side, I mean... That's a lot of buffs to pour into a thing I'm gonna kill by summoning a 2-2. Yeah, even if it means this guy will die to Sparky next turn, I think it's better than keeping a 4 man, a 4 attack whirlwind around. What are you looking at? Oh no, it's a Tusker! No, oh, it, it did that. Okay. Two. Yeah. 
If he doesn't kill that this turn, I win. No, oh, no, it throws down a ton. Good job. Good man. And he can kill it this turn. Which is good, because now I can sleep with the fishies. Or so I would say. We'll get the counter spell out of the way. So that we can kill that ogre off. My magic is stronger than you. This is also a spell. I do have to remember that. Oh, that's so annoying. I really need to draw another minion. Anything. Another Sparky would be great. Oh, he played that. I was wondering why it was so intrusively just all the fuck on my screen. But that's the thing, right? I have so much health that I just, I just don't care. I just don't care. Though this was pretty damn sloppy. Still is. I'm almost out of cards. I might lose. Because I'm pretty sure that last card is a Sparky. If he doesn't kill my orc, uh, my troll, I do win. No, it's not a Sparky. Shit. Uh, okay. This is not good for us. I mean, we win, but, like, it's a lot closer than it should have been. I thought I drafted two Sparkies. Did I play two that game? I don't seek peace. I seek loot. Get the fuck out of here. God damn it, I burned my way through the whole deck there. Oh, I only have one Sparky. I guess I'm an idiot. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? I think these might be just like too good. Plus the cards aren't from my deck, so it doesn't end up milling me. I really like the Archmage staff, but I'm actually playing a class that uses weapon. We're going to take the gloves of mugging. Two Scourge Lords Garoshes. I mean, that's like a ridiculous amount of survival. Plus a death spite. But I'm actually like really into Ishiage. But I have been going Everybody Hurts. But I just don't have enough minions. I think we're going to take the Recruiter. We'll hope that we can get the uh, dude again. This Thrall Priest speaks with the dead twice. What does that mean? Does Is he just Death Rattles trigger twice? Did they just like randomly generate like 20 different dudes all who have the same effect? Spirit Speaker Azun. Yeah, I think that's probably like your death rattles trigger twice. Totem of the dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, he has a Mara? What? Blasphemy. Alright, let's play nice and slow because that's what we want to do here. <laughs> Jesus, okay. If he doesn't just destroy that with spells, which I imagine he's about to. Ah, well, we get to deal a shit ton of damage to his face real fast. And then he'll just trade. We get to, we get to cut him down, like, almost in half there. 
Oh, there's the death, though. Trade the two, three. God damn it. Called it. That actually puts like a lot of cards in his hand. And next turn, we'll swap out our 2 2 with Goya so we can use his effect again. We can trade with that. Oh, trade for the face first. Then do it. Let's not miss it on two damage because I'm an idiot. Why charge? Damn it! It is charge. I mean, that activates my enrage. I'll take it. I mean, I can't play my weapon now, which kind of sucks. Your debt is Talk about a nice suit. Talk about a nice suit. A tale of I love this dude. I love some of the dialogue from like goblins versus gnomes. No, this isn't GVG. This is uh I don't even remember what they named this expansion. Oh, the mean streets of Gadgetan, right? MSGA, right? Now I be talking to myself. I love it. Now I be talking to myself. We got armor. We got legendary. Oh, Elise is really good. So it's just a care. Nah, we're taking the legendaries. Elise, just a care, and Kelthusad are just way too good. KT alone is like one of the best cards that was ever in Hearthstone in terms of just raw. Here's a card, win the game. I make the pretty pretties. We get to mug this guy. We get to punch him right in his mug. Take his cards. This is the one who gets one ones, right? Not just free copies. Yeah, one one copy. Yeah, he runs a hunter deck. So he can cop. Oh, it steals them! Holy crap! What? It does. Well, I'm mugging them. I mean, it makes sense, but I'm an idiot. <laughs> Protect the king. For each enemy minions, I'm going to 1-1 one, one pawn with taunt. Uh, I'll take the worgen. Mind if I roll need? Oh my god, what power. What raw, infinite power. That is, that is way better than I thought it was. That's obnoxious. I mean, I can kill it, but it it sucks. Yeah. We'll do that for the free attack to the face. Job's done. What's on? No, my 4 1. You filthy son of a bitch. Who you want me to kill? Is that 2 2? Two? It is 2 2. That's awesome. What is that? Is it an explosive trap? Is that a thing this guy would have? That's the question. Well, let's find out. Freezing? No, it is explosive. Alright, next turn we can uh, trade this guy out with Goya. Get him back in the deck and drop an 8 7 and get another. Never mind! Fuck. It's like he knows! <laughs> It's like he knows my plots and schemes. It is a very nice suit, buddy. Yeah. 
I'd imagine you'd do that for the extra spiders. I think we just go you this out. Kill this so he has nothing but 1-1s. One just a bunch of 1-1s one -ones to trigger mine rages if he's not smart enough to kill me. That is a lot of 1-1s one and we have a Sparky. Let's see what he does. That was a smart move. Like the AI on that was good. I think the AI on that was probably a little dumb. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Sparky him and wipe his board. Yeah. No. It's actually cleaner to do this. Cause it also lets me buff one of the two in my hand for free. Gets my Sparky up, another one one. Yeah, we just win. Good job, us. Do they have charge? They do have charge. You can just create a 1-1 one, one with charge for a 1. That's interesting. You got a secret. Let's hope it's a freezing trap. I'll swing with Goya. Never mind. Ah, uh, you know what? No, I'll still swing with her. It is a freezing trap. Oh, I could have bashed. Um, missed lethal. Missed lethal. I'm now performing BM against the computer, apparently. Smack. Smack, smack, smack. Smack, smack, smack. Smack, you smack. Pick a treasure. Robe of the Magi. No. Enemy minions cost one more. Possibly. At the scale of the game, draw two cards. I'm liking it. I like this too because my deck's a little slow. And we already have the gloves of mugging. So we're already stealing cards from their hand. Yeah, I think I'll take the glyph. I think I want to try that out. It might have been the wrong choice, but... We're going to pick legendaries again, it looks like. Yup. Voodoo Master Vex. Ah, uh, this is a guy who doubles battle cries and death rattles. Okay. Let's see if we can beat him. I think if we steal some of the cards out of his hand, that could be really good for us. Because his cards all have, like, really strong battle cries and death rattles. Plus, his cards now have, like, a lot less effective now that they cost one more, in my opinion. I think it's going to slow him down. That sucks, though. This is the problem. We're just not getting, like, low-cost minions at all. Which sucks. Oh, Jesus. I'm alright with that. I'm gonna wait to bash that, because that ain't, that ain't worth bashing in its current state. I wanna wait till there's a board that I can clear with it. Oh, well. Let's do this just to bait his attack out, I guess. I mean, it will trade. He doesn't want to trade. I'll take that. Who you want me 
We wanted to do that there just so the goat will purge the board. And he's definitely ensuring that it'll clear the board though. That's that's for truth. Okay. The shadows. Whatever he plays, we clear. Or ignore. So two, four, six. Yeah, this will clear his board if he trades one of these into me. I mean, that works, like, for me, like, way too much, guy. Sparky's gonna die, though. Or not. As I can set them off with this. Yeah. He, uh, he likes it when shit goes good. He loves it when shit goes boom. Calls it shouty and loves it. That was not a copy. God damn. Give me your cards. Get out of here. No. Yes. We gotta, like, get rid of his explosive sheep. So, I think this is when we play this and just fuck the whole universe up. One, two, one, two. Oh, never mind. That killed Kel'Thuzad. Why is this... Oh, it deals two damage. I thought it did one. Okay. I, uh, I was misreading that. He just blew his own board up, like, repeatedly. What the fuck, dude? Just, just, just get bent. Alright, I have a board now. Oh my god, that's annoying. He's gonna deal four to each. Alright, let's do that. Let's try this on for size. Golems are a girl's best friend. Really? I think they're Yai Shiraji. Giving me a free Karn. Probably gonna give me one of my Elise. My Elise or just a K. No. Fair. 
We're still wiping this board. Oh shit, that son of a bitch. He almost killed YSRJ there. But I get two burns. Or banes. Banes. I get two banes. Let's get him out of there. I mean, we have lethal. Oh, that happens twice. Right. Trades one for two. That's awesome. He's just a weird, weird boss. He, it never feels like a challenge. It just feels like a weird mind puzzle. Two brass knuckles, eh? Three blood razors and an Arcanite Reaper. I think we take everybody hurts. A trapped room. I've never done this before. I have no idea what it does. I'm actually scared about it. Versus a trapped room. Nah, I don't know what we need. We'll keep this. What does this do? Well, I have 90 health to get through it. Holy shit. Job done. Whenever you reveal a secret summon a 3-3 three, three saw blade, eh? Are, are you only able to play secrets in summon 3-3 three, three saw blades? Fuck. God, they fell off a Mirror entity? No, polymorph. <laughs> this is like actually insane. Oh shit, it was this Elise. I thought it was the good Elise. Shit. Oh, I fucked up. I thought this was the Elise that gives you the, uh. Snake trap? Alright. Plus the saw blade. Next turn, we can play Goya to get a second Elise in the deck. Double our chances. What am I supposed to do? Get back. This is insane. Eye for an eye? Yeah. What is this nonsense? How does one deal with this? They have infinite- I really need to get my mugger's gloves and steal those secrets. At least we can possibly sleep with these fishies. But he gets the cat trick off anyways. God damn. I mean, we could maybe mill him. Let's get our second Elise going. A repentance, but it also summons a saw blade. How do you beat this nonsense? Secrets are so strong. Ugh! 
you need him to have like nothing but like really bad secrets. And that's just like not a thing. There's the counter spell. I don't know if I have cards in my deck anymore that cost three, but fuck, I gotta play them. Oh Jesus, all right, I had cards in there that cost three. Oh my God, it's a freezing trap. I get a third Elise. <laughs> I get a third map to the golden monkey in my deck. Yeah, we're gonna brawl. And I don't even think that's gonna be good enough. Get down, eh? I really could have used my mugger's gloves. Do we do this or do we play just to care? Welcome I think we start getting the armor up. So we can last a little bit longer. Dark trap. God damn it. Oh, well now we definitely brawl next turn. Unless I draw something better. Oh, that's a terrifying card for this son of a bitch to have. I really hope a saw blade lives through this and nothing else. We're only still alive because of the health potion. Like, I am 100% aware of that. This is insanity. We're gonna do this to try and eat a counter spell? Nope, alright. Yeah, it's a saw blade! We cleared the board! Fuck you! Both barrels at the screen right now. Hey, let's get another Elise going. Oh my god, what? No, that's awful for us. On the bright side, it would get rid of the traps in his hand, so I would totally be okay with it. I mean, whenever this guy survives damage, destroy all minions, that includes itself. I'm fine with that. Alright, let's blow up all minions. We have, like, no cards left. We were supposed to mill him. Our muggers is still in there, though. So we at one point, we will be able to steal cards out of his hand. Alright, we're at the point where our legendaries are starting to snowball ever so slightly. <laughs> we're at the point where we're starting to snowball. Oh my god, he has the golden monkey in his deck. Please don't draw it. No, please draw it. Draw the golden monkey, damn it. Why? I have three of them. Three of the four cards in my deck. Unless Nemet gets rid of all cards that cost three or less, but I thought it was just three cost cards. Your debt is due. A misdirection. She looks like she hits Baron. Bane. Plus an explosive trap, which is what kills Bane. Which is fine. Kel'Thuzad's gonna pop everything back out. Oh, we'll kill the bear. I'm fine with that because Kel'Thuzad will just res it back if there's enough room.
kills KT. The AI is smart enough for that. See, now my mugger's gloves are useless. We have to, like, fucking get through this shit. He attacks Elise. No, he killed Yishiarge. Alright, we might lose. And, I mean, even if we drew the gloves now, we can't do anything with them. Because he's just, he's going to autoplay every round. On the bright side, this will make Sparky a little bit better. Or not. He has to be, like, out. I think that's an ice block, though, which is infuriating to me. All right, well, he played a 6-6 taunt, which is actually really bad. And I am getting really low. This trapped room is no joke. It's the monkey. I need the 6-6 taunt up. And it gave me a death wing, eh? I'm really low. Alright, I assume that's an ice block, but I think we can win. We win! It wasn't an ice block! Oh my god, that was, that was like, real touch and go there. Fucking Nemet. Oh my god, what do I want? What do I want? Give a minion plus three plus three. No. Adapt a friendly minion eight times? Fuck yes. Or seven times, sorry. I think this is good. It gives us another, like... Oh my god, it's all the unscathed again. This boss is such an ass. I only beat them last time because of the goddamn cloak of invisibility. Oh, my hands are shaking. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the thing. She's on her way now. Was sent at 406. Okay. My good friend is on their way to pick me up so I can help watch their kitties for the night. Let me see. We do have a hundred health. It will not matter. As the last time I fought against her, it really didn't give it just it didn't matter. The fact that she starts with like two mana is actual like she starts at like three mana is actual bullshit. Like I feel her deck is strong enough not to warrant that. So you you like don't want to let her discard because it'll, you know, empower her deck, but on the same level, I want to make her discard so that any good card she has get burned. I still think we're probably going to lose. Alright, so she is flame fatigue. Let's get our uh, golden monkey in there. Let's get our map. If we get that early enough, we might just blow her out of the water. She played that way early. She is insane. Insane in the membrane. Oh, 
that was really good for us, even if it healed it back to full. Alright, there's the wipe. What are we at? One out of six? Alright. We're about to make them discard like three more cards. No, you know what? We're gonna do this. We're gonna play some minions. There we go. Three, six, nine. We are just brutally killed. That's bad. It's a global execute for all of our monsters. Steal them! All right, we got her beams. Which is good. We can just wipe all of these if I fi if I take another five to the face. So she has another execute. Welcome to the grand tournament, champion. But both of the cards in her hand are lasers. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I I just walked into that. But it's all right. That destroy a mana crystal one is so fucking weak. Like, it's actually useless. The truth is in here. You have no card to discard, you fool. Now she does, though. Okay. Play the card before you attack. Once again, she's wasting all of her discard opportunities. But it, it's not going to stop because I have to kill this with Sleep with the Fishes. So I can slow the board down ever so slightly. We can use Sparky to wipe out the Imps, though. And half of her mana this turn is going to the portal. Yes! What a board wipe. What a board wipe. We might be able to come back from this. Flame's really bad, though. Deal two damage. Yeah, so he's gonna kill this. God damn it. That is such a good card for him to draw. Oh my god, that corruption is really annoying and bad. 
at the start of his next turn, everything dies. I mean, it's good for the sake that it clears our board. And we're going to get our Sparky back, actually. We're going to get a full health Sparky to this. No, we're not. What? It's at the end. What? Why didn't it resurrect? It was at the end of my turn, before the start of his. Oh, we lose. Why can't I play my axe? God fucking damn it, man. Can I draw something decent? Please. He's just sitting on beams. Beams and removal. I need another Sparky. That's what I need. Or that whirlwind I drafted. But the whirlwind's only gonna kill the imps. It's not enough. I need more. Man, what a fucking, like, unceremoniously flat end to this draft. That went pretty good. I hate that this thing is just uninteractable. Well, that sucks. And I just have nothing. Fatality. No. It's only going to kill us faster because of the worgen. We lose. We got brutally murdered. Brutally murdered. Yes, we did. Even if we get another creature... Yeah, it's all cards that cost three or less. We can't even play that. That was such a shitty card for us to get in that draft. God damn it. Alright guys, well we'll be back next time.